Okay, so at this point, you have ideally accomplished your value spectrum here. And so what you're going to be doing now, sorry, hold on. So what you're gonna be doing now is you're gonna be filling in this gray area. And so we're gonna do that the same way that we did the value spectrum. So we're gonna do one color at a time, um, going this way and then this way, and then we'll fill in the blue over that. So to get started, I'm gonna go ahead and do white first. Um, and white is such a, you know, it's such a sensitive, um, color um, and specifically we don't want to put too much black into these squares because black is such a powerful color so we're going to do white first and then we'll do the black and then we'll overlay the blue on top of those gray tones and that will give us this really broad spectrum of saturation that will be you know kind of really effectively show us um, how many different tones and shades of blue we can really get. Um, and so at the bottom here, of course, I have this really thick white. So I'm going to really lay that down, that Conte, in all of these squares, um, you know, pretty, pretty thick. And I might, I'll probably even be going back and adding more white to that as I'm working. Now this final square we already established with an equal amount of black and white, so that one's already fine. Um, now for this one, I need a little bit less white. So I'm just pressing a little bit less hard for this square. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill in that final square as well. Um, for this one, let me wipe off that little bit of black that we got on there. For this one, even less white. I'm sorry, that is my puppy whining, so you might hear him a little bit. And then for this one, Ultimately, we really aren't, we're barely even using that much white in our composition. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and blend those. And I'm just, I'm working with these individual squares. Um, if you want to, you can fill in the white, just kind of like shade the whole uh, row. Um, I really like thinking about these little squares individually. But so you can, you can fill in the entire row if you want to work a little bit more broadly. Okay, so now we're gonna fill in the black. So I'm gonna use this little chunk of black that broke off of my uh, piece the other day. And so we're gonna start with the really thick, rich black, and then we'll gradually taper that off to be basically only a tiny light amount of black at the very end. And the black is such a, you know, kind of tonally so much more powerful than the white that I really actually don't have to add a whole lot to do what I need to do for these boxes. And you can feel how where I laid the white down really, really thick, it's actually like, you know, kind of this really thick layer already. And so I can actually feel that as I'm applying the black to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend all of these and then we're gonna layer the blue on top.
I'm probably going to go in and add more white to these. To some of these because I'm finding some of them are probably a little bit more gray than we need them to be at this point in our value spectrum. So you can see how that thick white is really changing the way that this one at the bottom here blends. And as we add more black, that gray is getting more intense. And as we have less white, that gray is getting more intense. And then as we add blue to these squares individually, what you'll begin to see is that full range. And so right now I'm just refining the spectrum of grays that I've created before I incorporate that blue into that spectrum. So you can see I still have really rich blacks, really bright whites, and then this area gets into those more subtle tones of gray where the blue is really going to be a lot more forward in these colors. Okay, so I'm going to pause this demo video because my puppy is making noise and I want to, um, you know, get him to stop doing that and then we will do our final demo video.